Hi, I'm Kaylee Hunter Gasparini, and welcome back to Tell It Like It Is. Let's bowl, let's bowl, let's rock and roll, because Greece opens next week. This classic is our first production since the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee two years ago. Following last year's unfortunate cancellation, the musical has been in full swing as the cast and crew get ready for their opening night next Thursday. I got to talk to Sam Buell and Roxy Welch to learn about their characters and experiences in this iconic musical. I play Rizzo. And I play Sonny. In the 50s, there were these ideals for what women should be, and she sort of represents the polar opposite in every way. My character is Sonny, and Sonny is a bit of a, a know-it-all to a degree. He wants to be kind of a cool greaser, and he sometimes just comes off as an idiot. If I had to take one of the greasers to prom... Yeah, which one would you take? <sighs> Jake Rosen. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd either take Brendan or Tommy Hart. That's a good choice. That's a very good choice. What about you for pink ladies? Oh, I'd take Addie Rogers. <laughs> Hands down. <laughs> Me and Addie at prom. Everyone would trample her. She's three feet tall. <laughs> but it would be so fun. I just always love doing musicals because I love to sing and I love music and I love dance. And it all sort of comes together in this sort of teamwork where I'm working with a bunch of my friends to make something. And it's just a lot of fun. My uh, story is a little bit different. I originally, I've never done a musical before. I've been involved in the music program at the school since my freshman year and I've been singing since sixth grade. Um, but I was originally a hockey player and I decided to stop playing. It was a difficult decision for me because I really loved that sport. And I, I, I think I made a really good decision. I mean, the cast is great and I'm having an amazing time and it's completely different from playing a sport. I, on a serious note, the, the rehearsals have been going well. There's never a moment where I walk away from it being like I, I didn't have fun today. They can be stressful, it can be a lot, you'll get very tired, but it's always rewarding. And knowing that we're putting it towards a really good product is kind of what keeps my mind sane. Yeah, and if everyone's sort of on the same page, like we're all there ultimately to have a good time regardless of like how long the rehearsal is or how much work we have to do we know that we're there to just do our thing if you want to see me and Sam smoke fake cigarettes on stage for two hours straight and fake drink as well and have an amazing time with some classic jams come see Greece next week Greece opens next Thursday March 14th at 7 p.m. with shows continuing into Saturday tickets are only five dollars so make sure to buy them and support your friends Happy Friday!